In this video, I'm going to talk about tiger nuts. Now, I'm going to talk about everything that you can possibly think about tiger nuts. Hook baits, how to cook it, everything. So let's go. So first of all, let's start off with the cooking process. Now, everyone thinks that you can just cook them and they'll be fine. That is not the case. They are very dangerous if you give them to carp and other species. Obviously, other fish would eat them. Some don't, some do. Uh, bream do eat tiger nuts, by the way. Everyone thinks they don't, they do. Uh, but it is dangerous. Now, the reason it's dangerous is that you don't cook them properly. And then when they go into their stomach, they swell up and they block them from the inside and it's not nice and uh, they can die. Now, first of all, I actually soak mine uh, in water for about 48 hours before cooking. Now that ensures that the water soaks directly into the tiger nut and helps you in the cooking process. Just make sure that you put a little bit more water than the tiger nuts you've got in the bucket just to make sure they're all soaked. And then next step is obviously once you get to that 48 hours, then start boiling them. Now, I normally boil them for about 25 to 30 minutes. I make sure that they're properly, properly cooked. And you want that water to reduce as much as possible. You still want some left over because they'll be nice and sweet in there. Um, also, everyone always tries to add things to tiger nuts. I don't know why. Um, everyone tried to add all sorts of things. I've done it myself as well. I've tried all sorts of things adding to the tiger nuts, uh, molasses, and uh, other things like that. I'm thinking, why am I adding sugar? They're really sugar. They, they really give off a sweet, sugary smell. So there's no point of adding anything to it. Just have a natural smell. And if you end up putting it in a spod mix, it's just gonna smell like the spod mix. <laughs> it's not gonna smell any different. Once you finish cooking them for about 25, 30 minutes, like I said, actually get them out and put them back in the bucket and seal the lid. They'll cook for another, at least another 10 minutes in there before cooling down and uh, that would extra ensure that they're definitely, definitely cooked. You wanna make sure they definitely are because you don't wanna be killing off carp left, right and center. So I like to add my tiger nuts into spot mixes. I don't believe I'm putting just tiger nuts out. I think that's a bit of a stupid idea. Um, I just don't, they're not gonna get much from it. Um, you, I sort of add this into a mix with boilies and other particle bits in with it and pellets and other things. Uh, depends on what lake I'm on, I don't want to add pellets if it's bream in a lake, but I try and add other bits and bobs to it instead of actually having just tiger nuts on its own. If you're going to feed tiger nuts on its own, I recommend just putting a little bit in at a time. Don't overkill it, really, because I think you could cause a lot of problems. It, they don't get huge amounts from it. There's a little bit of fibre in them and stuff like that, but not huge amounts, maybe a teeny bit of fat, but they really need things like pellets and boilies on most lakes to grow and to be healthy. So um, just be careful on lake that you fish with tiger nuts and just don't overdo it. If I'm going to put it into a spod mix, the tiger nuts, I like to fish with a hook bait that's pre-soaked. Now I've tried to pre-soak my own and it always goes badly. Um, not that they go off or anything, it's just that they go a bit funny. <laughs> so you can get pre-soaked ones in the tackle shop. There's all sorts of companies out there that do these pre-soaked ones and basically it will stand out. It will definitely, definitely stand out. The flavour, it will be pungent, more pungent than anything you're putting in your mix or putting out there. Um, I do believe that. And also, if you're fishing a lake that's a bit of silt on the bottom, it'll stop that silt from soaking in a bit, bit longer. It'll take a bit more time to soak it in because um, the flavour is pumping out from the tiger nut. So it will give you that little bit of extra insurance that your bait is smelling nice. I like to use mine on the Ronnie rig and that is more of a wafter pop-up style uh, rig. So I like to put cork in my tiger nuts. One, it stops it from soaking up any silt on the bottom. Like I said, you don't want it soaking up any old rubbish on the bottom. And uh, it just makes sure that it sits over the top of the hook when it, you turn it into a wafter. You can turn them into pop-ups if you want to. I would recommend drilling all the way through it and filling it the whole middle bit with cork. Uh, eight mil cork, that's what I normally use. But you can use smaller if you want to, but you'll get less buoyancy out of it. Um, I also like to tip them off with plastic corns as well. If you want to turn it into a wafter, just put half the cork in it and you can maybe play around plastics as well. I like to play around with the old plastics on top. Just It makes it stand out more than the free offerings that are out there. And uh, I just like it because I like a bit of plastic on top. <laughs> bit of colour flick, it's always worth it. 
tried something like that. There's also a double tiger nut um, where you drill halfway in each tiger nut and you put the cork in the middle. That's quite a good little tactic as well. That's quite good. It stands out a bit more because it's slightly bigger than the other things you've got out there on the bottom. So uh, it's always worth trying something like that. There's all sorts of combinations. You can even combo with pop-ups and bottom baits. Um, boilies that is <laughs> um, you can play around with having boilies and tiger nuts together if you've got a spot mixed with that in it um, just to make it stand out a little bit more uh, but yeah there's lots of combination of tiger nuts you can use different tactics you can use I've actually got many videos on tiger nuts hook bait ideas on running rigs as well a lot of ideas I think I've got like six maybe or seven um, different combinations on two different videos i'll definitely will put them in the description below so you can check them out there's lots and lots of more ideas you can try out um somebody wouldn't even think of that i've just suddenly just well oh i'm gonna try it let's <laughs> see if it works <laughs> um but i've used tiger nuts on many lakes and i actually got a pb on tiger nuts as well uh, i think 28 10 mirror um uh, that was within maybe like six or seven months of me first using tiger nuts as well, which is absolutely crazy. So uh, yeah, I got like three PBs in one year on tiger nuts. So they are very good bait. I hope you've taken something from this video. If not, then you just listen to me babble on for ages about tiger nuts. <laughs> and I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> so all I've got to say is thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about nuts. <laughs> uh, no, not that kind of nuts. All right, start again. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. And also, don't forget to put a comment.